Democrats won back the House and Republicans remain in control of the Senate. So does that mean Americans are in for a whole lot of gridlock? Not necessarily. If Democrats and President Trump can reach across the aisle and work with one another, they may actually be able to meet in the middle on several key issues. We will have accountability and we will strive for bipartisanship with fairness on all sides. Here are three things the Democrats and Trump might accomplish in the next two years. Infrastructure is one area where the two parties see room for agreement. Studies show that outdated roads, bridges, and railways are hurting economic growth, and in some cases, posing safety risks. Democrats have already unveiled a trillion dollar spending package to update everything from broadband internet to mass transit, airports, and waterways. And Trump has made it clear he wants to invest in major projects too. The two parties largely disagree on how to fund such projects and how much money should be spent. But Trump has hinted that they could meet in the middle. Can we get along? Maybe and there's a possibility. They want infrastructure. I want infrastructure. There's something that can bring us together. Since neither side has signaled much concern about adding to the ballooning deficit, there's hope on Capitol Hill for some kind of deal. Trade could be another area where Democratic and Trump priorities overlap. Despite reservations from conservatives, Trump has slapped tariffs on adversaries and allies alike, and he's continued to champion his Made in America agenda. Many Democrats have expressed similar sentiments. We have to work with those countries that are willing to play by the rules, and for those who aren't, well, they might have to have some penalties for a while. But Trump's plan to fast-track the renegotiated North American Free Trade Agreement could be a sticking point. Instead of passing the bill as is, Dems could move to slow things down and seek terms more favorable to their constituents, such as strengthening collective bargaining agreements. Finally, there are ways in which Democrats and Trump could work together on health care. Trump has already announced initiatives to curb drug prices, and Democrats want to go even further. The two sides could team up to allow the government to negotiate directly with pharmaceutical companies on Medicare drug costs, force drug companies to be more transparent about their prices, and shore up protections for people with pre-existing conditions. But deep divisions remain about the healthcare system overall. President Trump wants to repeal and replace Obamacare, while Democrats want to strengthen it. So it's hard to know just how much room there is for common ground. There are also questions about just how much President Trump and the Republicans really want to work with the Democrats. And if House Democrats ramp up investigations of the president and his administration, that could neutralize any hope for meeting in the middle.